Today I'm gonna to do a video about distributed loading on a beam. We're gonna analyze this beam to figure out these support forces. We're gonna draw the shear diagram, the moment diagram, and all that good stuff. Um, I already previously did a video uh, uh, on beam design, and that video just had point loads, so there were just a few loads concentrated in specific points. But in the real world, more beams are designed with what we call a distributed loading, which is assuming that there's a constant load all across the beam. So this is called a uniform distributed load. And for today's video, we're gonna use 1200 pounds per linear foot across this beam. Okay, so we have a beam that has a 20 foot span and it has two supports, one at point A and one at point B. Um, so there's going to be a reaction force at each of those supports. Basically, uh, when this load is pushing down on the beam, these two supports have to push up on the beam to create static equilibrium. So we're gonna call this, let's call it B, Y and AY. So this is the reaction force uh, in the Y direction for both A and B. There is no X direction reaction force because there is no uh, external loading that's in the sideways or X direction. So what are these two forces? Well, for a problem like this, it's very simple. Whatever the total load is from this external load, it's just gonna be one half of that at each of the supports because we have a symmetrical loading situation. So how much total force is this? Well, it's just going to be 1,200 pounds per foot over a span of 20 feet, so times 20 feet. And so if you do the math, uh, you're going to end up with uh, 24,000 pounds of force uh, being loaded on this beam. And that means our reaction forces at AY and BY are each one half of that, so they're going to be 12,000 pounds here and here. So we've already finished our first step, AY and BY, the two reaction forces are 12,000 pounds each.